All right, so now we will look at um, integrals involving even powers of tangent uh, where there are no factors of secant. And whenever an integral, an integral involves even powers of tangent with no factors of secant, what we want to do is we want to convert a tangent squared factor to a secant squared factor and then do the integration from there. So let's see. So we have the tangent to the fourth. Whenever you have even powers of tangent, you want to isolate a tangent squared factor. So I'm going to isolate a tangent squared factor. I have the tangent squared of x. The one that I'm going to isolate, I'll make blue. Tangent squared of x dx. And that tangent squared factor that you isolate, this blue one that I isolated, you're going to change it into a factor of secant squared using the Pythagorean identity. So we have tangent squared of x. And then the blue one, I'm going to change into a secant squared factor because tangent squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. And we still have our dx over here. All right, so once we have this, now what we're going to do is, well, we're going to distribute just like we've done before. And we're going to get two separate integrals. The first integral is going to be the integral of the tangent squared of x times the secant squared of x dx. And the second integral is going to be minus. And then it's just going to be tangent squared of x, the integral of the tangent squared of x dx. All right. This integral over here is perfect now, because if I let u equal the tangent, then this is u to the nth, and there's du. The derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. So this is already set up for the u substitution. This one still involves an even power of tangent. So since it involves an even power of tangent and no secant, I'm going to treat it the exact same way I did this one. I'm going to change, I'm going to isolate a tangent squared factor, which I already have. And then I'm going to change it to a secant squared factor using the Pythagorean identity. So I'll get this, the integral of the tangent squared of x times the secant squared of x dx minus the integral of, and then I'm going to change this. I'm going to convert it. It's going to be uh, the secant squared of x minus 1 dx. And then I get three integrals now. This is the integral of the tangent squared of x secant squared of x dx minus the integral of the secant squared of x dx. And this last one is minus, or actually plus, because it's negative and negative, is going to be plus the integral of 1 dx, or just dx. So here, I'm ready to do my u substitution. I'm ready for my u substitution. The u substitution is of the tangent squared, or tangent, not tangent squared. So I'm going to let u equal the tangent of x. If u is equal to the tangent of x, then du dx is equal to the secant squared of x, which means that du is equal to the secant squared of x dx. So this is everything I need for my u substitution. That's everything I need. So let's see. This first integral becomes, well, tangent is u, so this is u squared, and there's du, secant squared of x dx. So this is u squared du. So this is the integral of u squared du. The second integral, negative. Well, this is the integral of du. Secant squared of x dx is du. So that's just the integral of du. And then the last one is the integral of dx. So I have the integral of dx. No u substitution necessary there. So now I'm going to do my integration. I'm going to use the power rule for that one. So I get 1 third u to the third minus. So I'm going to integrate du. If you integrate du, you get u. And the last one, I'm going to integrate dx. When you integrate dx, you get x. And then we still have plus c. So now that I have all this, let's see. Now I can back substitute. Now I can do my back substitution. Well, back substitution, the original problem didn't involve u. So now I'm just going to plug in u uh, as a function of x. 
So this is one third, and instead of u, I'm going to write tangent cubed. Tangent cubed x. Then minus u, which is minus the tangent of x, because u is the tangent of x. And then plus x, plus c. And there we have the integral. So that is how we're going to integrate um, integrals involving even powers of tangent and no factors of secant.